the Pantheon. At the legendary place where the founder of Rome, Romulus, was carried off to the gods by an eagle, stands what many believe is the most magnificent monument on the planet, the Pantheon. Taken from the Greek words pan, everything, and theon, divine, it originally was a temple dedicated to all Roman gods, built between 27 and 25 BC by consul Marcus Agrippa, prefect of the first emperor of Rome, Augustus. Emperor Domitian rebuilt it after a fire in 80 AD. Emperor Hadrian, 30 years later, created the magnificent structure that exists today. Hadrian combined a Roman cylindrical structure with the Greek-inspired exterior colonnade. The new structure is different from Agrippa's small temple, but Hadrian paid homage to the original architect by placing a Latin inscription on the facade. Built by Marcus Agrippa, son of Lucius, consul for the third time. In the 7th century AD, it became a Christian church, Santa Maria of the Martyrs. Subsequently, nobles and people of notoriety were entombed there. The first king of the Italian Republic, Vittorio Emanuele of the Savoy family, is buried here, along with his son and heir, Umberto. In addition, the remains of the famous artist, Raphael, were exhumed and transported here. Perhaps the most significant characteristic of the Pantheon is the poured concrete dome. It is a perfect circle and was the largest diameter span dome in the world until the 20th century. The Pantheon is one meter wider in diameter than St. Peter's Dome. Some believe Michelangelo intentionally designed the Dome of St. Peter's this way, one meter shorter, to pay homage to its mentor, 1,500 years older at the time. Whatever the case, Michelangelo was quoted as saying that the Pantheon was built by angels, not men. The 30-foot oculus, the eye, at the summit was a light source, ventilation shaft, and instrument for the sundial, which the dome actually is. The sunbeam strikes the entrance door perfectly and precisely at noon during the seasonal equinox. For 2,000 years, the Pantheon has been a functioning facility as it is today. Very few places can make such a claim, and very few structures inspire in such a manner.